is a style of music, as you know, popular in the 1920s. Nowadays, it's it's pleasing to to folks like us, <laughs> in, people in older crowds. Like us. Yeah, Elaine called us like <laughs> dust bunnies. <laughs> but there's an 18-year-old tri-state man who's trying to change that stick. See, young people do like it. Yeah. Local 12 Elaine Kong shows us Ben Levin and his love for the piano. It started as piano lessons at eight years old, turning into a part-time job playing boogie-woogie style in tri-state bars. Oh yeah, did I mention before he was able to drink? Everybody likes my Rocket 88 baby. 18-year-old Ben Levin will graduate next week from high school and will attend UC in the fall. But before that, he has a few more stages to hit. I had the opportunity to play in Europe. I played in France last summer. Uh, I'm headed back this summer to play in the Netherlands and the UK, so I'm very lucky. The soon-to-be high school graduate, if you couldn't tell, isn't your typical teenager. People always call me an old soul, you know, I just sort of uh, gravitated towards it. There's something about the, the feeling in the music that I love. One of his many goals with his part-time job is to bring a different type of crowd to the 1920s inspired music. Yeah, it would definitely be nice to draw some younger people to the genre to sort of keep it going. Long-term goals other than that are yet to be decided. I don't really think that far ahead. I just sort of take it one step at a time. The next and there's no stopping him. Aaron Levin, or as I would like to call him, Ben's dadager, says he's more of a best friend to his son and a marketing professor at NKU who handles his son's part-time career. Teaching him about the, you know, nowadays you got to be on social media, you got to time things just right, you have to have a specific audience that you target. Levin says the fame and fortune isn't all that important to Ben or himself. He just wants his son to be happy doing what he loves. Ten years from now, what do you want to be doing? I have no idea. Uh, still playing, no matter what. Look, we got CDs! Yeah, I, I, we did. I got he a little, is so good. That boogie woogie gets going, I get a little Doesn't bounce. It? Yeah. I love seeing his shoes yeah. tapping there under I, the piano yeah, while playing. Yeah, yeah, ben music can hear me right now, Ben. I got serious shoe envy, man. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> He's That's like, great. Yeah, it's like a, a, a person transplanted in a kid's body, like an older, wiser, you know, guy. It's just Isn't such, cool? and, and I know it's not a style of music necessarily you knew, knew a whole lot about and whatnot, but it's it's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. a really, really fun. Are you a fan now? It makes you want to move. We, Ben and I spoke, and I had to play piano growing up because my mom made me, so yeah. I like, never really wanted to get into it. Yeah. But when I heard him jamming, I was like, this is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And he's here. Yeah. So yeah. you got you to stay tuned because it's going to be. Yeah. Nine o'clock hour, we're going to talk with, with Ben, and he's going to play for us, too. It'll be fun. Thanks, Elaine. We're going to keep the whippersnapper around and make her, make her listen again. We're going to so, tell you about so more old people things. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>